Hello there, you'll all be thinking you're getting that deja vu feeling again. Um, yesterday it was the audio line PT345 base station, and today it's the Uniden Uniace 300 base station, which has the same works in it. Mr. Charles said to me from Swansea, Have you got a Uniden 300 in? He said, I once saw one and it was huge. I said, I certainly have. I've got two in of these this week. What I've decided to do, I don't like the look of some of the capacitors in this power supply. Well, that one for a start. And so I'm running it on the 12 volt bench supply, or 13.8 volt bench supply, rather than plug it in at the mains. It just looks a bit scary, and uh, we'll get the set to work before working on the power supply. Um, the set has also come with all the screws bar two in and the rest of the screws in a paper bag inside so it's been looked at just switching it on I've got some very strangled audio so we've either got some capacitors down in the audio section or the audio RC is about had it so we'll see whether we can set the VCO and we'll take it from there starting with the VCO and uh, looking at the test point which is resistor 52 I'm in transmit and I've got 3.4 volts the 3.43 uh, uh, the manual says it should be 3.5 volts well of course that's that's near enough so I don't need to adjust that if I did need to adjust it it's L19 for the transmit VCO I've checked the receive VCO and again if we needed to adjust it it's L 16, no it's L18 if I can read the uh, photocopy and once again that's steel sealed. This set doesn't look to have been messed about with and that certainly makes a change after yesterday's uh, awful uh, pile of modifications. Um, so with that we'll go straight on to the transmitter. So transmit, the first transmit call is L16, so I'm going to go into transmit and see what power we've got at the moment. We've got just a fraction under 3 watts and um, I'll just switch to my high scale. So just L16, uh, just need to melt that with the soldering iron. The second one is L15, so we'll just warm that one up for a start. And then the next one is L13. Feels like it's got a broken core. It has. Well, skip that for now, and we'll go over to L12. These probably all got sealed after it had finger trouble at some point. doing all this on channel 40 I should have reset it to channel 20 start again L16 L15 that's tightened itself back up again Yes, I was doing the VCO, of course, on channel 14. Failed to reset it. So we'll skip the one with the uh, damaged core at the moment, and we'll go over to L12. Use a yellow tool for that. And 
and then we'll move over to L10. Okay, so I'll just pause the video and we'll whip that um, damaged coil out see whether I can turn it round or whether I use one off a scrap chassis. I'll just stop the video. Okay, having swapped coil L13 from the scrap chassis, that's the nice shiny one. I don't think our uh, scrap realistic had uh, been in a nicotine environment and I think this one has. Now I've got the power up to 3.9 watts which is about where we had the audio line yesterday. So the next thing to do is to make sure that the meter on the front, the signal meter, the RF meter also reads that kind of power output and it's absolutely spot on so that's uh, that's a turn up for the books Other for, otherwise it would have been adjusting RT3 VR3 there uh, for that um, feature now we'll check that the radio works at 0 0.4 of a watt in the low power mode not far off 0.37 so I'll just adjust that to 4 and that is VR4. That's now spot on 0.4 of a watt. I'll switch back to high power. That just leaves the deviation to do on the transmit side. I'll get the oscillator out for that. I've got the proper Unidem mic for this. Switch the camera on. It's the right hand oscilloscope, not my shoulder. Now we might have got issues with the mic socket. So I'll pause the video and resuming the video, I've uh, cleaned up the pins using a fiberglass brush of the microphone socket. So now getting the uh, proper trace and uh, the deviation was just set for two and a half maximum which is there and then we'll just go with the whistle test and make sure <whistles> wallow yes it is that's lovely so that concludes the transmit side and the VCO of this Uniace 300 base station so the issues which it's had, and remember I'm, I'm working on an external power supply because there's clearly a problem with this one, is that apart from that core having been damaged, um, uh, L13, so we're only getting about 2.9 watts. That's now being brought up to the 3.9 which these can achieve, and the problem with the no uh, transmitted audio has been overcome by cleaning the mic socket. I think it's been in a nicotine house and it puts a film of uh, nicotine um, on things like that and you end up with dirty connections. So um, at that point we'll stop the video and I'll now have to change the audio IC or find out what's wrong with the amplifier because on receive and just show you this is what we're getting. So that's no good at all. <laughs> 